Hi, Carl again here, uh, back with some isolation drills that you could be doing at home, ready to uh, prepare yourself for when we're allowed back on the golf course. Uh, this one's to do with putting and really all about getting the putting job done. So not about technique, how you do it, just about trying to set the ball off on the line that you've chosen time after time. And as you can see from the players around the world, there are no, numerous different ways of doing this with the way you hold the club, the way you set up, uh, short strokes, long strokes, all sorts of variations. This is all about finding your best way to achieve the objective, which is to set the ball out on the line that you've chosen. If you can uh, master this, then lots of things become a lot easier. So short putts, for example, when you've just got to knock it in from two feet, you can have confidence with. And also your reading of the greens will become better when you know that you're consistently setting it out on the line that you've chosen. You'll get instant feedback as to whether you've chosen the right line or not. The dilemma comes when we're not too sure if we actually set it out on the line that we chose. So this is a good exercise. What I've done here is I've put two of my other clubs out uh, handle to handle end and I've left a gap between them of about the width of a golf ball plus about uh, five to six millimeters each side of the golf ball that's around about half or just under half the size of the width of a golf hole so it's pretty testy what we're going to do is we're going to position the ball about 12 to 14 inches behind the gap and we're going to just learn a technique and it doesn't have to be technically correct you're going to learn the best technique for you to get the ball to pass through that gap time after time I want you to experiment a little bit, hold the club differently, uh, set up slightly differently, uh, try things out to see what gives you the best level of success at this, and that's where you will find your best method to putt and hold more putts. There's no right or wrong. Okay, so uh, I'll give it a go for you. I'll stand up now. You won't see my head, but I'll keep talking, and we'll just push a through, few balls uh, through this gap. You will need a surface that's relatively flat. You can do it on uh, wooden floors or tiled floors as well. Uh, and that's why we don't want this to be too far away because your job in golf is literally to set it out on the right line. We then let gravity and the grass take its uh, effect on the ball and that's the best we can do. So good practice drill and something which has got a little bit of um, competitive edge to it. See how many you can get on the trot, for example. And let's see how we get on. Okay, so just setting up to this. Get very involved with where the target is, that gap between the two clubs, and literally just take your stroke and push the ball through the gap. Okay? Time after time, find a way of actually just achieving the objective. If you get really good at it, you can narrow the gap slightly, or you can actually move further away from the gap if you wish. But this will be plenty enough, half a hole's width from a foot away, to get the ball set out on the right line for you to hold more putts. So give it a go, uh, let me know how you get on if you want to, and when you come back to the golf course, this means you're gonna hold more putts. Okay, take care, keep safe, and we'll hope to see you soon. Bye for now.